Hello and welcome to a special edition of World Business Report from Delhi. I'm Devina Gupta. Today's show is all about Britain's departure from the European Union and what that means for countries like India. Coming up on the program. Let's get Brexit done and unleash the potential of the whole United Kingdom. The British people have had their say and now it's time to talk trade. What do Indian businesses make of the opportunities on offer? Plus, we meet the Indian students taking advantage of new UK visa rules to invest in their future. The prospect of the UK breaking away from the European Union has prompted many companies around the world to revisit their business plans. And India is no exception. What does the divorce mean for the firms here? The BBC's Arunodoy Mukherjee travelled to the central city of Pune to find out. As the United Kingdom tries to hammer out differences with the European Union over Brexit, India has been watching closely. Several Indian companies have business interests in both the UK and the EU. Bharat Forge, a $3 billion Indian company that specialises in automotive, railways and aerospace, is one of them. Brexit is a concern, but there is some cause for optimism. The opportunity that I see coming out of uh, Brexit is I think uh, UK and the UK defence organisations will be far more amenable to do work with India. That said, this business will depend heavily on trade tariffs and how easily workers will be able to move in and out of the UK. While this company feels Brexit could be good for business, there are other companies which are not so sure and are looking for business opportunities beyond the UK. Global IT services provider Aspire entered the UK market in 2002. Today, 45% of its global operations are based in the UK. But it wants to continue expanding in Europe and the uncertainty around Brexit has forced it to look beyond Britain. So while we have been in a UK doing the business for the last 18 years and what we see is that now the opportunity is to look into the other avenues in the Euro. Companies have historically used the UK as a gateway to the EU but now Europe could become the first stop. Ireland for example senses an opportunity for business. Its ambassador has been lobbying Indian companies to persuade them that the Republic of Ireland is the perfect alternative to the UK. In the last year alone, the Irish government has seen investments from Indian companies double in IT services and pharmaceuticals. Logically, uh, many Indian companies would have first looked to the United Kingdom um, as an overseas base. Uh, in current circumstances, uh, it's not such an obvious choice. Whereas Ireland offers all of the advantages of the United Kingdom, with the addition of membership of the European Union. Brexit is a challenge for some businesses and an opportunity for others. For many of them, it'll be the year ahead that determines where their future lies. Arunodaya Mukherjee, BBC News, Pune. India's largest trading partner is the European Union. In 2017, India exported $44 billion worth of goods to the EU. Just $7 billion worth of exports went to the UK despite India and the UK's deep historical relationship. Both the UK and the EU have been courting New Delhi for some time in the hope of winning trade deals. But will either side succeed? We agreed to strengthen our cooperation uh, not just on the security uh, side where clearly the UK and India stand shoulder to shoulder in the fight against terror uh, but also on, in military uh, cooperation in the Asia uh, Pacific region where we share uh, many interests and of course in, in free trade. EU is India's largest trade partner and source of foreign direct investment. India has moved from 142nd rank in 2014 to 63rd position now. This is a massive jump of 79 position in just about five years. 
I also wish to remind everyone, these rankings come after looking at the impact of the reforms. Those rankings are not a forecast, but an assessment of what has already happened on the ground. India's Prime Minister Narendra Modi there. Now, young Indians still see the UK as a desirable place to study. The fact is the latest data shows a 63% rise in Indian student visas to Britain. Do they expect to see a return on their investment? From Mumbai, the BBC's Monica Miller reports. These university-bound students are placing their bets on Britain. My name is Bhavi Bhimani. Hi, I'm Jeanette Sheik. My name is Keval Bhimani. But will the divorce between the United Kingdom and the European Union put a kink in their long-term plans to become an architect, logistics and supply chain manager, an artificial intelligence specialist? No, no. Right now my focus is more about my education of two years. Uh, not really. Uh, Brexit uh, doesn't matter to me a lot. So I'm concerned about it, but let's hope for the best. These students have a good reason to be optimistic. In the wake of Brexit, EU students will no longer be given preferential treatment when they apply to colleges in Britain, letting international students compete on a level playing field. We advise sort of somewhere in that region. Many UK universities are increasing their recruitment in countries like China and India to make up for a potential loss in enrollment. It's not just about the students, it's also about the faculty and the staff members and, and stuff like that. So those kinds of challenges would be there in, 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 the, in the coming year. It can have an impact on research. International education consultants like this organization say they have seen an interest in UK universities skyrocket by more than 30 percent. That has a lot to do with the two-year post-study work visa they will receive when they graduate. But once that expires, what does the future hold for them in a post-Brexit United Kingdom? The British High Commission says more than 30,000 Indian students received higher education visas for the year ending September 2019. That's compared to almost 19,000 the previous year. In the likelihood of British leaving the EU, there would be a, a, a kind of a gap in skilled labor, skilled personnel in the UK. And in that kind of situation, uh, India would be in a very good position. Consultancy services focused on preparing young Indians for international colleges have experienced a rush of students wanting to head to Britain rather than other countries, particularly the U.S. Unfortunately, it is the perceived thing that you won't get a work visa. Uh, there's a lot of perception and a lot of fear among students, a lot of noise in that space. Brexit will keep a fog of uncertainty hanging over the U.K. for weeks, if not years to come. In the meantime, these students hope Britain will look to young, driven talent from abroad to lead it towards a brighter future. Monica Miller, BBC News, Mumbai. That's all we've got time for on this special edition of World Business Report. From Delhi, I'm Devina. Goodbye.